Hey guys, we are finishing up our equations unit this week. We are looking at writing equations and inequalities. We are going to start by looking at writing equations. So we are gonna answer the question, how do I write equations with variables on both sides from a word problem? We can write an equation to represent real world problems. Um, and then we will do an equation with variables on both sides. We will need to translate the words into math symbols. And um, if you are stuck on translating, then these keywords below might help you. So some words that mean the equal sign are the same as and equivalent. Today we are just looking at equations, but tomorrow we'll start looking at inequalities too. So it's gonna be important that you recognize words that mean the equal sign. Okay, then this next word is really important. Multiplication, each, every, per, and product mean multiplication. And whenever I say multiplication, I mean something like 3x, because remember that means 3 times x. So this, these words here are super important because they are going to tell us where to put the x. So whenever you see these words, you will see me put an x over them because it means multiplication where the variable goes. And then we have addition, more than, increased by, total gains, altogether sum, basically if something is going up. And then subtraction is less than, decreased by, difference fewer, basically if something's going down. And then division is quotient half, split, or shared equally. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to read the problems and I like to mark up the word problem and then that makes it easy to write the equation. And then we are going to be solving the equations today. So let's look at this first one. It says Silver Gym costs $75 to join their gym plus, I'm gonna put a plus sign there, 25 per, there's that keyword, training session. That per means multiplication, so that's where my X is gonna go. And then it says World Fitness costs $100 to join and only $20 per training session. There's that word per again, that's where the X is gonna go. So they're gonna pay $100 and the $20, so that's gonna be addition there too. How many sessions will it take for the cost to be the same? There's our equal sign. So we want to know when Silver Gym is the same as World Fitness. So Silver Gym, remember it was $75 to join plus 25 per, so that means 25X training session. And then World Fitness was $100 to join plus the $20 per training session. So here is our equation. The question didn't just ask for the equation though, it wanted to know how many sessions will it take for them to be the same. X was the number of sessions because it said per training session, so let's solve for X. I have variables on both sides, the 20X is smaller, so I'm gonna subtract that one. And I get 75 plus 5x equals 100. Now I remove the constant. And I get 5x equals 25. And then I divide by 5. And 25 divided by 5 is 5. So it would take five sessions for the gyms to cost the same. All right, let's look at the second one. It says Elliot and Juan are both on a mountain hike. Elliot is currently at 2,000 feet and is descending. That means he's going down. I'm gonna put a subtraction sign. At a rate of 10 feet per second. There's that keyword per. So I know that the X is gonna go with the 10 there. Okay, then Elliot is at 1,000 feet and is ascending. He's going up, so that's addition, at a rate of six feet per second. 
There's that keyword again, so the X is going to go with 6 this time. How many seconds will it take for Juan and Elliot to be the same? So equal sign. So I want to know when Juan is going to equal Elliot. So let's start with Juan's. It says Juan is currently at 1,000 feet. And he was ascending going up, so that's plus 6 feet per second. That was the 6x. And then Elliot is at 2,000 and is descending, going down, subtracting, at 10 feet per second. So that was the 10x because it had the per. Okay, now I'm going to solve this. Obviously, the negative variable is smaller, so I'm going to do the opposite of that. I'm going to add 10x to both sides. And I get 1,000 plus 16x equals 2,000. And now I subtract 1,000. And I get 16x equals 1,000. And I'm going to divide 1,000 by 16 to figure out when they're the same. So after 62.5 seconds, they will be at the same position. All right, let's look at number three. A minor league baseball team has a members club. It costs $30 to join and $3 per ticket. There's that word that means X. Non-members pay $6 per ticket. How many tickets will it take for the cost to be the same? So we want to know when the members will be the same as the non-members. So the members, they cost $30 to join and an additional $3 per ticket. So that would be 30 plus 3x. And then the non-members don't have a fee, but they have to pay $6 per ticket, so 6x. Okay, now I'm going to solve this to figure out how many tickets it will take for them to be the same. So I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. And I get 30 equals 3x. I divide by 3. So x is 10. So it will take 10 tickets to cost the same. All right, number four. Carissa has 250 in her checking account and is saving, so that means her balance is going to go up, plus $15 each week. Each means we are repeating. It means multiplication, so that's where my x is going to go this time. And then Brooke has 750 in her checking account and is spending $10 each week. So spending, that means it's going down. She's subtracting. And then there's that each word. $10 is going to repeat. That's multiplication, so that's where the X is going to go. How many weeks will it take for Carissa and Brooke to have the same, so equal, amount of money in their accounts? So I'm looking for where Carissa will equal Brooke. So Carissa started with 250 and is saving, so adding an additional $15 each week to that. Brooke has more to start out with. She has 750, but she is spending, so it's going down, subtracting $10 each week. And now I'm going to solve the equation to figure out when they'll be the same. So I'm going to start by adding 10x to both sides. And I get 250 plus 25x equals 750. And then I'm going to subtract 250 from both sides. I get 25x equals 500. And then I'm going to divide by 25. And 500 divided by 25 is 20. 
So after 20 weeks, they would have the same amount. Okay, number five, 30 more than, so I'm gonna write out the number to help me. More than, that's addition, one half of the students at Canyon Middle School are in band. Five less than three-fifths of the students are in athletics. If the number of students who are in band is equal to the number of students in athletics, how many students are enrolled at Canyon Middle School? So they did not use words that mean multiplication, but my question also kind of tells me what the X means. How many students? That's what I'm trying to figure out. So X is going to be the number of students. And I want to know when band is equal to athletics. So band has 30 more than one half. So one half of the students plus 30. And then five less than three fifths of the students. Um, so you have to be careful about the order that you write this in. Five less than means I'm going to subtract at the end and three fifths of the students means three X. So students was X, that's why I put one half and three fifth with the X. Okay, now we are going to solve this. I have one half X and three fifths X. I'm going to subtract one half X from both sides. And I'm just gonna put this in the calculator. Three fifths minus one half is 0.1. Since that is a terminating decimal, I'm just gonna leave it as 0.1. So it's zeroed out right here. I bring down the 30 equals 0.1x minus five. Okay, now I add five to both sides and I get 35 equals 0.1x divide by 0.1 and 35 divided by 0 0.1 is 350. So that means there's 350 students at the school. Okay, the NYC bus cost 250 per ride. This one, it's obvious what the X is because of the per. And then they also sell a bus pass that is $15 and then only $1 per ride. There's the X. So the bus pass, they would pay 15 and then add the $1 per ride. How many rides would it take for the cost to be the same, so equal? So we want to know when just the normal bus is equal to the cost of the pass. How many rides would it take for that to be the same? So just the bus is $2.50 per ride. The pass you pay $15, and then it is just $1 per ride. So that's 1x. And now we are going to solve for x. So I'm going to subtract 1x from both sides. 250x minus 1x is 1.5x. And I divide by 1.5 and 15 divided by 1.5 is 10. So after 10 rides, it would cost the same.